friends, welcome back. We are here today uh, to talk about silly superheroes on stage. My name is Lisa. I'm here with the Tampa Hillsborough County Public Library, and I am joined by our special guest, our friend, Miss Jess. Hi, my name is Jess, and I'm an ensemble member with Creative Arts Theater, the city of Tampa's professional theater company for young audiences. So much fun. I can't wait to get started. And while we do, I'm going to show you a thing that you can do after our program. We have a resource here that is available as an ebook. It is on Hoopla and it is a quick, fun guide on making superhero costumes at home. It's called Superhero Sewing. It has some really easy patterns in there if you're able to sew, but it also has no sew patterns. So check that out. Uh, we also have some fun costuming guides uh, by the Creative Arts Theater on our YouTube playlist. So check that out as well. So we would love it if you were able to make some fun costumes at home. All right, folks, we are gonna get started here in just a moment. Miss Jess, take it away. Now it's time to share our latest theater at home activity. Introducing Silly Superheroes on Stage. Silly Superheroes on Stage. Hi, my name is Jess from Creative Arts Theater, the city of Tampa's professional theater company for young audiences. Today, we're going to create our very own superheroes and bring them to life with some theater games. Now, before we start, I'd like you to meet somebody very special. Introducing Captain Calliope Courage. Hello there, fellow citizen. My name is Captain Calliope Courage. And today, I'm going to help you create your very own super character. A protagonist superhero like me, or an antagonist like my arch nemesis, Dr. Doodles. The protagonist is usually the main character and works toward the central goal of the story. The antagonist opposes or works against the protagonist. In our story, that's the villain, the despicable Dr. Delirious Doodles. Now, first things first, we must choose your super name. When creating your superhero or villain, you'll have to choose their name. Now, I like to do this by choosing words that sound powerful or something that sounds silly or funny, like our hero, Captain Calliope Courage. Now, maybe your superhero has a special power that would help you figure out their name. Like somebody who's really fast could be called Speedy Sam or somebody with electrical powers could be called the buzz. Once I know my hero's name, I like to write it on the top of a piece of paper and then draw out a very basic sketch of what I'd like my hero to look like, like this. Excellent work, Jess. Now that we know our superhero's name, it's time to design their emblem. An emblem is like a logo for your superhero and maybe the first letter of their name or a simple representation of a power that they possess. For instance, Speedy Sam may have a logo that looks like this. And the Buzz might have a fun emblem that looks like this. My emblem is a capital letter C with wings because my superpower is supersonic flight. Now that we know our superhero's name, we know their emblem and their superpower, it's time to design the costume. I've gathered the materials to create my costume. I start with a plain colored shirt, craft foam in a variety of colors, yarn, fabric glue, scissors, some fabric for my cape. You can use a pillowcase, towel, or sheet too. Colorful gloves, tape, and a pencil. You may need some cutting help from your grown-up as we go along. And remember, you can pause this video at any time to gather your materials or review the instructions. Using the drawing that I made earlier, I started to build my emblem out of craft foam. Then I chose the colors which represent my hero. 
Her main colors are blue and red with yellow and white highlights. First, I used a small plate to help me draw the circle and I cut it out. My next task was to make the capital letter C, which should be slightly smaller than my circle. Then I drew my wings and cut them out. Once I had it all cut, I used my tacky glue to stick it all together. Finally, I set my emblem aside and let it dry. While my emblem was drying, I moved on to create my mask. Since Captain Calliope's main superpower is supersonic flight, I decided that my mask would have wings as well. I used the mask template included with the Superhero Theater tip sheet to help me get just the right shape for my mask and then I built on from there. Once you have your design, you can cut it out and add any decorations you wish. Use your imagination. Once your mask is complete and dry, attach enough yarn to each side so that there is enough to tie behind your head and keep your mask on. I used tape to secure the yarn to my mask. After your emblem has had some time to dry, it's time to attach it to the front of your shirt or to your cape. I used a piece of chalk to mark where the edges should go, but you could carefully use your pencil. And it may be nice to have a grown up for this part. That way they can help you to center your emblem and make sure it's straight. Once you're sure of the placement, put your shirt or cape back on your crafting surface with a piece of cardboard or something to protect your table under the layer of fabric you're about to glue it to. Now it's time to glue. Take your time with this and make sure to use enough fabric glue to get a good seal. Once your emblem is glued to the cape or shirt, please let it sit and dry for several hours before you try it on. Now that we have everything we need, let's take our heroes for a spin with a few fun theater games. Here with our first game is Captain Calliope Courage. Okay, everybody, it's time to put on your costumes and bring your superheroes to life. The first game we're going to play is called Zip Zap Zup. For this game, we need to remember three simple superhero words. Zip, zap, and zap. Can you say zip, zap, zap? Excellent. Now we're going to make a circle with our friends. And we're going to take turns saying each of these three words with a clap while sending the word to another player in the group like this, zip. Now this game is great to maximize energy and superhero focus. Jess and Dr. Doodles, would you like to help me demonstrate? Are you ready? Here we go. Zip. Zap. Zop. Zip. Zap. Zop. Zip. <laughs> Excellent work, you two. Now you can play this high energy game at home with family and friends. You can even make it into an elimination game. And anytime somebody pauses or says the wrong word, they're out for the rest of the round. Once you have a winner, everyone can join again and start from the top. Fun, right? Now, Dr. Doodles, it's time for your one good deed of the day. Would you like to introduce the next game? Me? I'd love to! <laughs> this next game is called Super Story Time. We are going to tell a superhero story using the new characters we've created. This is where your antagonist and protagonist can really shine. Captain Courage has given me some super instructions for me to follow as we play the game. Okay, here we go. I will start by telling the story. Then we will take turns adding to the story one sentence or idea at a time. Once we start, we have to use all our superhero listening skills to hear our friends tell the story. In order to know whose turn it is, we will end our part of the story with the word and. Then 
look to another person in the group who will pick up the next part of the story with the word and. Jess, are you ready? Captain, how about you? Okay, here we go! <laughs> Once upon a time, there was an extremely handsome, outrageously funny, and exceptionally smart individual named Dr. Delirious Doodles! <laughs> One day, the relatively good doctor was walking down the street, and... And he spotted an ice cream vendor selling his favorite flavor of ice cream in the whole wide world, vanilla. But the line was so long, and Dr. Doodles was getting very impatient, and... And... Oh, I don't like this part! I'm not impatient. I want to get to that part of the story now. Dr. Doodles, remember the super instructions? You must continue the story your super friends are telling to continue the narrative. You can't change it just because you don't like where it's heading. Sorry, please go on. The line was so long, and Dr. Doodles was becoming more and more impatient. So, the dastardly fiend decided to take matters into his own hands, and... And he distracted the vendor by pointing to the park. And... And he shouted, Look at that marvelous mauve monkey swinging through the trees! The vendor turned to look, and Dr. Doodles scooped three scoops of that delightful creamy confection into a cone and ran away before the vendor turned back around. And... And Dr. Doodles got away. Or did he? Suddenly, our hero, Captain Calliope Courage, appeared. And... And she tapped Dr. Doodles on the shoulder and said, Not today, Dr. Doodles. It's not nice to take things that don't belong to you. Go back over there and do the right thing. And... The doctor walked back to the ice cream vendor and paid for his treat. He also apologized to every person in the line that he had skipped. <laughs> the the end. end! Okay, heroes, now it's your turn! We've created our very own superheroes and villains today. And now it's time for you to have fun with your characters. Now, you can use the theater games that we learned today to get started, or you can make your very own plays with your friends. Thank you so much for spending this creative time here with us today, and we'll see you next time. Oh, and don't forget to check out our Superhero Theater tip sheet and hang around for questions. I hope you enjoyed that video as much as I did. I sure did love the costume ideas and the mustache for twirling, so that was a ton of fun. Uh, in the meantime, if you came up with any questions or you saw something that you wanted to learn a little bit more about, uh, go ahead and let us know. I'm going to read some of the questions that have come in. So, do superheroes always, are they always people? Are there any other kind of superheroes? Absolutely. Superheroes can be animals, like Mighty Mouse, or they can even be robots. Uh, like Mega Man or the Transformers, or NASA has even created a real life robot superhero called Valkyrie. Very cool. That is extra neat. That's fun. I'm glad that maybe, maybe my dogs could be superheroes one day. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. So I have another question here. Ooh, who is your favorite superhero? Oh my goodness. 
There are so many good ones to choose from. But I really love Wonder Woman. She's strong and she protects her family and friends. Yeah. How about you, Lisa? Who's your favorite superhero? Ooh, you know what? I really have fun with Captain Planet. Yes. Captain the Planet, just because I, I yeah, you know, I think he has the, the most fun theme song. So the Captain <laughs> was my favorite growing up. Awesome. Cool. How about you guys? Do you have a favorite superhero? Let us know. Oh, speaking of favorite superheroes, we might have some superheroes at home watching this right now. Let's uh, let's see. Oh yeah, what are ways that they can be a superhero at home? Hmm. Hmm. Well, I think just helping around the house can make you a superhero. Or being kind to people. Absolutely. Being patient. Mm. We, we've been learning a lot about being patient at some of the, the shows that we might have at the library right now. Mm. <laughs> also, like Captain Planet, you can help the planet by recycling. Mm -hmm. Picking up litter, making sure you don't accidentally drop something when you're, yeah. when you're out at the park or at the beach. Yeah, mm -hmm. taking care of our environment. That's a that's a big superhero move right there. That's a good way that we can all be superheroes in our community. All right, folks. Well, if you had any other superhero thoughts, things that you might want to do or learn from the library, we'd love to hear about it. And if you wanted to get in touch with us, you can reach us anytime at hcplc.org slash contact or give us a call, 813. 273-3652. So reach out to us, let us know uh, what you thought, if you have any questions, but also keep an eye out on our schedule for summer reading programs. There are so many fun live shows coming to the library and programs and activities. Go to hcplc.org slash summer. You can see what's coming up there, including some familiar faces uh, that you might have seen on this video that you might be seeing for an in-person show. So check that schedule. And don't forget, if you want to learn more about the Creative Arts Theater programs, go to tampagov.net slash theater. Ms. Jeff, I had so much fun with you today. Can't wait to do this again. Absolutely. We'll see you next time. Bye, friends.